In this video, we're going to show you how to show the ring onto this one and make it, make it a base on the inside. The other video will show you you do on the outside and that's the top. We're doing this one today. Okay, so that's the inside ring. See where it starts. If you stitch the stitching correctly, you can start anywhere, but if you did it, you count the points. There's 16 points. 16 points here. And we will start with it going the opposite way. For me, since I'm left handed, going that way. So, you start from the inside one. You can see that. See that on the inside. Basically, you went in, around, and looped back out this way. So then, coming back on itself, that's where you started. You went in, came back around, now you're back on itself again. I'm just going to try to get to the other side now. Stuff like this over here. Okay, just like that. Back out. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. The top there. Back down around again. Okay. So one, two, three so far. And just continue the process. Now we're going to get to the corner here. Once you get this corner down, the other ones should be the same. But it's the same concept. I'm kind of rushing through these videos now just to get them out to you. Sorry about the quality. But at least you understand. How to get done. Then later you can deal with motion picture stuff. <laughs> I just want to show somebody how to do this before no one knows how. Okay, so with that, I'm going to mount in a corner here. Okay, so you can see that one, two, and then instead of you squeezing it in the other video and putting two together, you go one, two, three. So one, two, three. Then you just go to the next one. And just continue the process. Like that. Okay. 
Like I said, like I've said, this is just the first round of stitching. You can always go around again and make it tighter. This is just to get it in settled in, or even if you do it right the first time, you don't have to worry about it. But sometimes you can go in there, stitch this any way you wish. This is just kind of like a guideline to get you started until you get to your advanced stitching. I got some other stuff for you there to try to make later. Just keep watching. Alright, always keep an eye on your stitching because once you lose it somewhere, you're going to be like, oh man, I'm going to go back and do it again. Okay. Sorry, it's all kind of blurry. I just move kind of fast. You know, it doesn't really take that long to do this. Just teach you the basics. All right. All right, well, sometimes the dental floss comes undone because I don't tie it correctly. And you see it happens. I can tie another knot and continue. But um, I probably got two more to go. One, two, three, and I'm done. So we'll just kind of cut it short here. But if you see, I'm already getting it's flat, and I'm already it's already making like this version of a crown. But it's it, it's, it's the bottom. Okay. So here's the reason why you can't put two bottoms together, because if you put them together, they won't line up. See. No matter what you do, the teeth and these two ends won't line up. So you have to put one on the outside, and that makes it line up. Oh, sorry. See, they line up. See that? This top and that top line up. And you get that nice little jewelry box. If you do two ends, or two, two of the same, you'll get them opposite. Can you see that? And maybe it looks nice for you, or, or however you wish. But this is the top. I made a video for that, and here's a little bit of video for making the bottom. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, I will keep going, but like I said, the string came undone, and uh, obviously you would know what's going on now. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Um, when I make a rose. Okay. Have fun. Enjoy.